Hello, and welcome back to Open for Business. My name is Melanie, and in our third installment of the show, we are going down the block and around the corner to Fink Inc. Tattoo and Body Piercing. We sat down with Josh Moy, owner of Fink Inc., and talked about his journey into the tattoo industry and how he came to own his own shop right here in Whitewater. This week's story is built on passion and legacy, and we are going to dive right in after our first commercial break. See you soon! Step into a place that's alive with creativity. At the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater, our students have a passion for art, graphic design, music, dance, and theater. We're here to help you discover your artistic potential. From classic techniques to modern innovations, UW-Whitewater is an outstanding place to learn your craft and prepare for your career. So bring your talents and imagination. Come be part of the Warhawk family. The UC can get you connected to all your basic needs. Grab a coffee and a meal. Study by the fireplace. Bowl. Play and relax when you want a break from homework. The UC has much more to offer to Whitewater students. Go to the UC's website to see what's going on this week. Here at UWW, we put a lot of emphasis on shaping your involvement. Involvement helps you get to know more people with similar values and goals as yourself. The Student Involvement Office can help you get involved with organizations on campus, or we can help you start a brand new one. So what are you waiting for? It's time to shape your involvement at UWW. If you'd like to learn more, stop by UC127 or contact us at involvement at uww.edu or call 262-472-6217. We're back and ready for you to meet our new friend Josh of Fink Inc. Tattoo. You may be wondering, where did he start and how did he get here? Let's check it out. So I started tattooing uh, at a pretty young age. I did my first tattoo when I was 16 years old. Um, I actually tattooed my mom, of all people. My dad, his name is Robert Moy, he uh, tattooed, started, actually took over a shop in Rockford, Illinois by the name of Goldie's Tattoo. Eventually got good enough to where he was able to buy the shop from the previous owner. Um, he took over in the early 90s, kind of when tattooing started to become more mainstream. People were becoming a lot more interested in tattooing. And uh, it was, I guess, the, the big tattoo boom of the 90s, early 2000s, where everybody started to really start to make some good money in tattooing. Uh, at the beginning of his journey is kind of when he met my mom. She was actually working at a florist at the time. He decided she was gonna. He was gonna teach my mom how to tattoo, or take my mom on as a, an apprentice. Taught my mom how to tattoo, and my dad has been tattooing now for 35 years, and my mom has been tattooing for 25 years. So it's been uh, quite the journey for not only them, but me personally watching them evolve as artists, and then me following in their footsteps and choosing to do the same thing. Uh, so then, uh, once I graduated high school. Um, I kind of bounced in, you know, doing tattoos all along the way, kind of bounced in some factory jobs, some restaurant jobs, stuff like that, and um, it just found out that it really wasn't for me. You know, I was, I, I needed more personal interaction, I needed to talk to people. I found out that I eventually did want to pursue something with art, and um, being that it was in the family business, I guess that tattooing was that option. When we return, Josh will tell us about his turning point as a tattoo artist, what brought him into the Whitewater area, and his transition to being a shop owner. Stay tuned! At the University of Wisconsin-Whitewater, we're passionate about learning. Our talented faculty members blend teaching with research, creating hands-on learning experiences for students. Warhawk Pride thrives at UW-Whitewater, where student-athletes excel on the field and in the classroom where diversity is celebrated. A tradition of excellence. Find your passion here.
Diversity Center at UW-Whitewater is here to enhance the campus experience. Today, we're going to find out how the UC gets you connected. The UC gets me connected by providing a great place for me to study. The UC really gets me connected through the different offerings it has between the uh, Warhol Connection Center, so Impact, SAO. The UC gets me connected by giving me a great place to socialize with friends. UC gets me connected by uh, meeting new people, playing pool, bowling. The UC gets me connected by providing us with charging stations for our phones. The UC gets me connected thanks to all the wonderful food selections. It gets me connected to my next meal. I come to the UC to meet with Spanish Club. I come to the UC because it's a great place to study. I come to the UC to uh, get some homework done. My fraternity is always sitting here and they help me and support me to make sure my grades are as high as they can be. I come to the UC to meet with student orgs. Remember Warhawks, the UC is here to get you connected. In such a niche market in an equally small town, it's hard to believe that a parlor such as Fink Inc. could succeed. But as industries grow and quality control is harder to find, Josh has been able to gather his thoughts and understandings of his own success. Let's take a look. Um, tattooing in the Rockford area almost kind of ended my career, actually. Um, I wasn't a big fan of the clientele. I mean, you deal with a lot of people in that area that aren't really appreciative of what you're doing for them. Just not very genuine people that you would like to communicate with on a daily basis. Um, and I happened to stumble across this, uh, this venture or this opportunity and I grabbed it by the horns. When I came in here to look at the studio and look at the building and, uh, and what was all involved, what would need to be done to get it back to the point to where I wanted it. I knew it was going to be a, an adventure, it was going to be a project, you know, something that was going to take a lot of time. It really shocked me as far as when I got in here and made the changes that needed to be, to be made and, and got things situated to how I wanted them to be in here, how fast things did turn around. I mean, once you have somebody that has a, a level head on their shoulders and they know what they're doing and they know, they know what they're presenting to a community or whoever it may be, I mean, I'm very confident in what I do as a business person. And um, I've been tattooing for 13 years. So, I mean, I have a pretty good idea of what I'm doing. And once you have somebody in an area and people get word that you're producing a good, a good product, I mean, it's, you know, it, it, it actually happened a lot faster than I thought it would. As far as, you know, having a, a, a unique business in a smaller area such as Whitewater, um, I did have fear that, you know, the being with a low population and such a low census of people in the area that I would struggle to make it as a small business owner. Um, but you know, I get support from college, from the college, I get support from college students, and I do have people that travel to my studio all the way from Chicago, Illinois. So, I mean, I get people from all over, all over, and it's been very great. Passion and love for your art is a key factor in the success of any artist and their business. And Josh attributes a lot of his growth to owning and operating Fink Inc. Have you ever wondered what it's like for an artist when you choose them? Have you ever been curious about the ethics behind owning a tattoo business and dealing with competition? Stick around for the last part of our show to find out. What does it mean to be a Warhawk? It means allowing myself to dream big and think outside the box. Pushing the limits of what I think is possible. Seeing ideas through from start to finish. Collaborating with professors and peers. And seizing opportunities in the community to put my knowledge to use. I'm studying abroad. Learning another language. And listening to the stories of others. I'm making lifelong friends and fearlessly sharing my gifts with the world. As a Warhawk, I stay balanced. Take great care of myself. And get out of my comfort zone. I refuse to let the past determine my future. And I'm taking confident steps in the direction of my dreams. Sometimes it doesn't make sense. And other times it couldn't be more exciting. But I will keep my goals in mind and never quit. Because that... That's the Warhawk way. We're back and almost ready to wrap up the show. But before we go, we had to ask Josh about his personal connection and emotions regarding his studio and work. Take it away, Josh. 
I would consider myself to be a very humble person. I mean, it's not like I'm like, yeah, they came to me instead of somebody else. I don't get that. Everybody has to make money. You know, I don't feel like I'm the only person that should be tattooing and everybody needs to come to me. Um, everybody has to make money. And I, I uh, you know, I, I feel that it's very poor in character to talk badly about other people in the industry. I mean, we should all work together and we should all be partners or teammates or um, collaborate together. I mean, you know, and it means a lot to me when people walk into my studio. I mean, this is what I do as a means to provide for my family and put a meal on a table for my children. This place means a lot of things to me. I I feel that in my career, you know, I said I've been tattooing for 13 years. And uh, this is where my growth in tattooing has come the most. I've had a lot of freedom. Um, I've met a lot of really cool people. I've established a lot of really good relationships. And this kid, Brandon, that works for me here in my studio, he's one of my best friends now. You know, I mean, I couldn't imagine my life without the dude, as weird as that sounds. But even local people, whether it's the fire department, meeting people that own other local restaurants, just the community in whole, meeting other people and building off of those people and having conversations with people and reaching out and just feeling the community and seeing what people want and what people need. I mean, it, it means uh, it, it's built my, you know, it, it means growth in, in entirety, I think, whether it's just me or me helping other people, whether it's tattooing or whether it's advice or giving, you know, whatever it may be. I mean, it, it's, it's really uplifted my spirits in a, in a 360 for my life. And um, I couldn't be more grateful for what this community has provided for me. Thank you for watching this installment of Open for Business, and thank you to Josh Moy at Fink Inc. for letting us have an inside look at one of Whitewater's favorite local shops. My name is Melanie, and we're locking it up for the week. We'll see you next time.